Welcome back. The Bishop Healing Crusaders held their Winter Sports Media Day, giving us a first look at the new squads for both boys and girls basketball as their teams get ready for their respective season openers, which are only a couple of weeks away. Starting off the boys team, they're coming off a 13-10 season, in which they fell in the Class 3A substate round. They look to improve in year one of the Matt Hahn era. The Morningside alum will take over the Crusaders for his first head coaching job, and he'll have plenty of experience at his disposal. Bishop Heelan returns five of their top six scores, headlined by junior Matt Nall, who averaged 14 points and eight rebounds a game. As the team emphasized how their returners can help the team take the next step. I'm kind of approaching it like every player is going to the next level, um, giving them those um, tips and tricks and things like that going forward um, that would help them at the next level if they choose to go that way. Um, and then, you know, teaching them to compete till it's over. Um, trying to trying to make sure that we we're competing every single day in practice, so it's so it's not flipping the switch on on a, on a on a Friday night. I think the coach is helping us adjust a little bit better, and uh, with him being so young and stuff, I mean, it's pretty much just like another another brother to us, another player out there with us, and he just kind of he helps us get through it all and makes it a lot easier for us. Now for the girls team, they had an outstanding season a year ago, finishing with an 11 and one record in the MRAC and 23 and three overall, making it all the way to the Class 4A state title game. Head coach Darren Kohlschroeder returns a plethora of talent, headlined by Brooklyn Stanley and Kelly Mize, who scored over 650 combined points. Bishop Heelan also hopes to continue its strong defense, ranking ninth in the state for steals and eighth Class 4A for rebounds. The Crusaders hope to continue their recent success. You know, we're excited. The girls are excited. Uh, making it to the championship game last year was probably not predictable. Um, so we kind of overcome some. Uh, you know, hurdles and, and played really well at the end of the year. We didn't really know what to expect last year coming off, like we had new coaches and we were still young. So just making it to the championship gave us a little bit more hope for this year. We know what we need to do, so we have more motivation. The first game for both teams just a couple of weeks away with the girls team taking on Cedar Rapids Xavier at Coe College on November 26th while the boys squad faces Trainer on December 1st on the road.